Oh, fuck. that is orange. That is orange. That is so orange that I just said a bad word on camera. Do I look any better? Do I look a little fixed? Let me make sure I get under my eye bag because that's where all the sin is. I'm like a real big fan of this thing. It's so cool. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am Andy. It is like 9.45 in the morning. I am exhausted because I went to work at 1 a.m. and I got home from work at 5.30 a.m. and I slept and now I'm doing this. So it's gonna be a wild ride, I'm sure, but let's do this. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and do like some of the start processes of my makeup and show you guys some products I've either hauled and used or do a first impression of some. So there's a couple different products. Um, you guys saw me at the beginning of the video use my jade roller. I'm a really big fan of it. It like, you're supposed to put it in the fridge or the freezer, I think, to help activate the cold, but it's naturally cold anyway. Um, so I did not do that last night. I just kind of rolled it on my face and I was like, oh, it feels really nice. So um, we'll see. Hopefully if I start using that every day, I'll be able to tell a difference and then I'll be able to tell you guys like whether or not I think it's worth it to implement it in your routine. Um, and then I also want to show you guys the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. I don't think I've showed you guys this in a video yet, but I really, really like it. And so I wanted to show you guys. And then I'm going to do a first impressions of the NYX 3-in-1 Brow Pencil. Yeah, it's like the biggest like brow product I think I've ever seen in my whole life, but it's got three parts to it I did open it all up so I could kind of figure out what it was so I wasn't just like where am I going? Um, it's in the shade Auburn. I have not used the shade Auburn on my eyebrows yet I have bought a bunch of products from NYX and from ABH in that color. I just haven't used it yet So we'll see if I like the color to go with my red hair or if it's gonna be a little too orange It's a little bit what I'm worried about just having looked at it initially, but we'll see how it plays out today's a day of just discovering learning everything today so first things first I'm gonna do my primer this is a nice little jar of the jelly primer and I showed you guys in the video what it looks like but it is like this like really just nice jelly consistency and I wanted to do this especially after having done the jade roller because it's naturally really cold and I was like oh that's gonna be interesting after having done the jade primer so it is very interesting I think I put way too much on that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like I'm bathing in like Vaseline right now. This was a mistake. It's okay, you can keep rubbing until it goes away. Oh god, this is a mistake. <laughs> There's so much. This is when I wish I had invested in one of those little fans to like blow dry your face. Every time I see somebody use that, I'm like, I'm gonna get one and I forget. I'm gonna get one, but I'm gonna forget. All right, actually it's not too bad. Could've been worse. What's cool though is I stuck my finger in the jelly to like get some out and it just completely molded back. Like it just like the blob, like or the thing or whatever. It was the blob, right? That just like absorbed everything. Well, I can't work boxes today either. Really just doing great. Just, just going with it. All right, I am gonna go in with my Brow Bow Conditioning Primer from Benefit because I use that every day which I'm almost out of and I don't have a backup, so I actually really need to buy another one, but I have not done that yet, and I should have done it the other day, and then I did not, and now mistakes have been made. All right. Okay. The one thing I will say about the Jelly Hydrating Primer is it's got a little bit of like a stickiness to it. I don't know how to explain it. When it dries down, it kind of feels a little bit better, but like when it's first drying, it just kind of makes your face feel like you got jelly on it, so it's a little discombobulating at first. So this thing, this thing, this is the top. 
It's the pencil, and it's about the fattest pencil I've ever seen. Um, then you open this up, and you've got this powder, like, but it's just, it looks like chalk. Like, I can't even, I don't even think I can show you guys, because it's just chalky stuff everywhere. And then on the bottom, you've got this little spoolie with the color on it. So we'll see. I may hate it. I don't know. It was not what I was expecting. It was like a lot bulkier and thicker. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to create like a nice precise brow. But I'm going to do my dangdest. So let's try this. Oh, that is orange. That is orange. That is so orange that I just said a bad word on camera. So what I think, oh, it's like I'm using an orange highlighter. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best with this and the colors I have here, and then I'll go and darken it up. At, oh, gosh. I will say it's actually, the pencil itself is actually applying very nicely, though. I think I probably will avoid buying Auburn ever again in, at least in NYX products, because, yikes, it's just, oh, it's rough, y'all. So I'm not going to lie off camera. I went ahead and used my ABH uh, Brow Wiz in the color Taupe to darken it up a little bit just because it was so unbelievably orange. Uh, I think this kind of brown orange is more what I was expecting with it. Like there would be like some orange or red tint to it, but it's still basically like a just a dark brown shade because that's kind of how I always associate Auburn. But I need to try all the parts of the product. So we're going to go in here with this like nice orange chalk and see what I can do with that. Oh God. Oh, yikes. There goes all the brown. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we might as well just go ahead and finish it off with this little red spoolie. This, there's a lot of product on that. You know, okay, so let me just say, it's the color, it's not the product. I actually am a very big fan of like how everything's applying so far. I'm kicking myself for the color. I should have known better than to buy a color that I've never used before. That's so far from like what I'm in my comfort zone. I should just stick to brown, but I was thinking, oh, I've got red hair. Let's try something new. So they don't look great right now. Uh, they're just kinda, but this is kinda always what my process is. is I get like a really rough shape. And then I go in there and clean it up. All right. I am going to off camera really quick, try and clean these up a little bit. And then I'm probably going to go back in with that taupe color and darken them up a little bit. Um, and then we'll see kind of how they look when it's all said and done. Okay. So like three minor mental breakdowns later, I kind of created something that I'm okay with. I think this is the issue. So because it's so orange and it's not at all the color that I want it to be, if I use it, which I think I should be able to, because it actually, once I mixed it with the taupe color, it made almost the identical color to my hair. So it's actually, it's got really good qualities. I think I need to go in with a dark color first, because I found it got really murky trying to go over that orange with a darker color. So if I go in with a dark color first, and then I like use it as a highlighter, and I put in accents of the orange red... I think that will be better. Ultimately, I could be very wrong, but um, yeah, so that's what the eyebrows look like. They're probably not great because I literally was like on the verge of tears and I almost washed my face a couple times and I just was like, I'm just going to tough through it. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some foundation and I'll show you guys what it looks like with the foundation. I feel like that always kind of changes it up a little bit too. That was a wild ride, y'all. I um, flipped out a couple more times. I think it's partially just the shape that was created with my eyebrows. The one didn't want to cooperate today. Is it partially the product? I think it might be. Yeah. Um, the wax from the pencil was incredibly slick. Like, it, I don't know how to explain it. Almost, um, it was almost cream based, which I find wipes off easier. So, um, where I don't have natural hair follicles that I'm trying to build in there, if I put the concealer on, a lot of times it'll wipe it off and then there'll be like these weird divots. I found that right up here, that was really happening. Um, they actually don't look bad. Now that I've darkened up the color, I don't hate it. Like I said, I think I need to readjust the order in which I'm going to use that product. And will I ever buy that product color again? No, I will absolutely not. I will find a taupe or brown or something that I'm much more comfortable with because that just seemed to be so orange. It was like a highlighter. Um, 
But overall, I mean, the idea, the concept for the product itself, the three-in-one, I like. I think if I had the right color, I would have responded better to it. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It caused me a lot of stress under this time where I'm very sleep deprived. So uh, hopefully it was worth it. Um, and then if you like our page, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you see every time we post a new video. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly but with a dark twist.